Tesla's just taken their cars and a new product to a motor show in Germany. Apparently, Volkswagen employees were basically at the Tesla stand and just outnumbering Tesla employees because um, the Volkswagen employees took off from their own stand and were hanging out at Tesla stand. That's what apparently is happening. And Tesla's released what they're working on, a new product. It's very, very interesting. But I think I have an even better idea. Now, let me know if you agree or you disagree. Is my idea better than Tesla's idea? Thank you for watching the channel and for subscribing. Make sure you click that notification icon bell as well to get our videos in your feed. By the way, we produced 1,700 videos over the past, what, just over 12 months on this channel. So if you wanna know what's happening in the industry, we make more videos about electric cars, about batteries, about battery technology, about the future of the EV industry than anyone else. So stay tuned. Now, what's going on with this product? Well, it's very interesting. It's like a trailer filled with batteries and then solar panels that can be folded out like wings. I really like this idea, but as Tesserati says, range extenders are nothing new. They typically involve the use of a small internal combustion engine that can help an all electric vehicle travel farther. Tesla appears to have laughed at this idea as the team featured a solar powered range extender trailer as part of its exhibit at the 2022 IDEAN Expo in Hanover, Germany. Now, apparently this expo is actually a massive event for kids teenagers and young adults that features workshops and exhibits from various exhibitors. Believe it or not, even in Germany, amongst kids and young adults, Tesla is a very, very popular vehicle brand. In fact, the brand in general is perceived by young people in a much more positive light than what it is by older people, which is crazy. Now, this event is actually apparently called the largest classroom in the world. So I think a lot of school kids go there as like a school excursion. They go with all their classmates and their teachers take them. One of the things that was there was a Tesla vehicle with a structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells. They had the pack exposed so people could actually see how the pack works, see what the batteries look like. And that would have been an interesting thing to see in person. For those of you wondering, Yes, Tesla at some point will be providing vehicles with structural battery packs and 4680 cells from that factory there in Germany. However, I think the most interesting thing Tesla had on show was a solar range extender trailer with extendable panels and a Starlink dish on top of it. You see, the Starlink dish is actually tiny. I mean, you could definitely put that thing on top of a car. I mean, it wouldn't be ideal, but I mean, for example, if you had a pickup truck, you could just stick the thing in the back. It would take up a very small amount of space. I'm really surprised by just how small they are and by how well they work as well. If you were, say, going off-road, there's a lot of areas that you still can't get internet in, so that would be really ideal. However, the trailer was, by the looks of things, people said quite lightweight. It could have been made out of aluminium, for example. That would make it a lot lighter. Therefore, right, if you're towing it, you're towing less weight, so that would make sense. Now, clearly the vehicle is fitted with a battery pack as well. I don't know how big it is, Tesla haven't said, no one knows, but you could fit a pretty big battery pack in that thing. Clearly this Tesla solar range extender is a prototype. It's not a product, Tesla haven't even announced it. We don't know if they're ever going to announce it. They may do so, but as of this point in time, it's just a prototype. However, this is an interesting concept that could help people, say if they were going camping or something like that, to be able to have more range. And potentially, if you're camping, it would be kind of ideal because you could camp, you could spread out the solar panels and charge that battery pack in order to be able to run off anything. You could run your caravan, you could run your truck, you can run anything, kitchen, whatever. Now, Elon himself actually mentioned a similar type product at the Cybertruck's initial unveiling in 2019. Back then, Musk said that Tesla would probably build a range extender for the all electric pickup truck in the form of a solar cover that can generate about 15 miles of range per day. Now this solar cover would be on the back of the bed, go over the top of the bed where the roller cover goes over that would be covered in a solar panels. He said that would give 15 miles per day of range, which to be honest is actually a lot of range. I mean, that's what, about 27 kilometers? The average person in cities normally drives only about 40 kilometers a day. However, Musk said that with folded out solar wings, the Cybertruck's daily range would be boosted to 30 to 40 miles per day, which for most people is definitely all you would need. Now, for those of you wondering, the average distance traveled by drivers in the US 
per day is 39 miles. The additional range brought by the Cybertruck solar panels could definitely prove useful. Now, my idea is this, right? There is buildings now being built, in particular one building here in Melbourne, Victoria, recently got approved and construction is underway now, where the windows and in fact the entire building will be covered in a thin solar film. The solar film is transparent and this building will be able to completely power itself. In fact, more, it'll have way more energy than it needs, even on cloudy days, because the entire building surface is covered in the solar film. Now, I don't see why you couldn't cover an entire car in the solar film. Why not? If you can cover a building in it, what's the difference in covering a car with it? Apparently, the difference is durability. However, people are saying the durability of these films has been significantly improved over the last few years and continued work is going into improving the films. So personally, I think, why not cover the doors? Why not cover the windows? Cover the whole thing in a transparent film, meaning, right, you might not even need those fold-out wings. However, it could be an option, right? This is what I'm thinking, an option. We have the fold-out wings, but they're detachable, right? Maybe you don't have to carry them with you. Like, for example, you may not need those so if you're carrying them with you all the time, you're carrying excess weight with you, then it's a, like a, a range penalty, right? But if they were detachable and you could remove those, then you wouldn't have to carry them with you all the time, and that would make more sense. Now, say, for example, you just wanted to drive somewhere, you had to pick up your son from um, training for sport or pick up whoever. So you have to go, maybe you got to drive 30 kilometers or 15 kilometers there, 15 kilometers back you wouldn't have to have the solar panels on the car and carry, be carrying that weight penalty. But, but in my opinion, even better than that would simply be to cover the entire vehicle in this new solar transparent film. Now, if you've seen my video, you'd know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description below to that building here in Melbourne, which is being entirely covered in the solar film. Now, this is not the only building worldwide. Apparently, there's a number of buildings in Europe that already have this technology and it works. The stuff is amazing. It provides well and truly enough power, more than enough power for the inhabitants of those buildings. And as you can imagine for a city building, I mean, the amount of frontal surface area covering the roof, covering the windows, covering the entire surface is enormous. Personally, I don't, I don't understand why no one has considered doing this. Cars often, very, very frequently, just sit outside in the sun all the time. Why not charge while they're sitting there? Now, let me know in the comment section below. Would this work? Do you think it won't work? If you're an engineer, tell me why, or why it will or won't work. But I personally can't see why it won't work. However, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe one of you knows something that I don't. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.